Welcome back to, ta-da, 3D printing. I've sold through all of my 124 scale miniature showers and I need to make some more. Before the MMU, I made every single piece almost separate. So the shell that's black is one print and then the clear glass is what I call it on this side. That's a separate print that I print flat. And then both pieces of tile I print separately and flat. They have a little notch so they fit together. And I do a layer change on the faucet so that I have the silver. And then the tile floor I also print as a separate piece. It starts out as white and then does a layer change to black. And I had a hard time getting the silver to print right. So I actually print the silver drain as a separate piece and glue it in as well. So it ends up being about six different pieces that I glue together to make this piece. And as I print them currently, it takes me about four and a half hours. I do try to batch print everything. And so usually I try to do at least 10 pieces at a time. But if I could save the time and print them all in one go, that would be awesome. With the MMU3, I wanna try it out. So I go into my design program, Tinkercad, and I just go through and duplicate all of the different pieces that I print separately, and I'm gonna put them all together as one piece. I know there's other design programs out there, but I do really like Tinkercad because it seems simple enough for me to use. And I do usually put them all together as one piece and then kind of split them apart, but I never thought that I was going to be printing it all one, one print with multiple colors, so I didn't keep a copy of it. And then I pull the design into Prusa Slicer and go through and change the default. It took me a little while to figure which would be the easiest things to color. At first I thought that I wanted to go through and color all the tiles, but then I realized that my tiles kind of sit up away from the wall a little bit. So not only would I be coloring the face, I would have to color the four sides of each of these individual tiles. So instead of doing that, I left that one as my default. That the white tiles are gonna be the default color. And then I went through and changed the black shell, changed the other wall that's gonna be just a solid glass, and then went through and colored all of the floor. But I kind of messed up here and I wanted that drain to be a different color and I was not able to get a perfect square. So I thought, well, for now, let's just do a round circle and we'll see if I even like it and I can always adjust that surface a little bit so that it's a different color later. I tried to kind of change the colors as made sense to me. So I was doing black surround on the outside and I was doing kind of a dark silver for my faucets, but it starts messing with me because it's too similar to the black and I have to go through and really just make sure that I'm choosing the correct color of the two options that, depending on the shadow, look way too similar. I finally get to a stopping point and slice it, and I'm shocked at the time frame that it's gonna take. I know this is a pretty complicated model, but almost 27 hours. And if I want 10 of them, am I really gonna be at 10 days for all of them? And I also am not sure how the tile is gonna look to have one face down and one on the side. So I kind of backtrack and decide I that's gonna be too many things. So I know for sure that the floor irritates me to have white and then a layer change of black and then silver on top. I can feel the difference in the layer change. It's hard to get it to look smooth. So let's just start with that and see if I can get that as a single color print. I go in and pull apart all of the different pieces and export it so that I think that this is what I need to do. Since I want them to all be flush and the same amount of layers, I thought that if it was one solid piece, then it's gonna be really tricky to get all of those different designs to be a different color. When I pulled them into Slicer, it asked me on the multiple objects that were loaded for a multi-material printer, instead of considering them as multiple objects, should I consider these files to represent a single object having multiple parts? I said yes, and I don't think that that was the best because then it's just one solid piece. I'd have to slice them apart and line them up. So I go back and import them again, and I say no this time. And this time everything is centered and is how I want it. So I go through and color the different parts, and then I modify everything to be the same height. But when I slice it, I just don't like how it looks. The black looks like it's just gonna not be a really 
bold, strong color. It looks a little bit like there's gonna be some spaces. So I go back into Tinkercad again and I put them all together, which I guess I should have done from the beginning. And then rather than make them all the same height, because of course when I put them together, it would just be a, a square. I just baby step each one to be just a little bit taller than the other one. And then I pull it back into slicer. And the steps are small enough that if I just slice it, it's just gonna print a square, which I think is what I want. I want it to just print it solid across the layers, but I want the color change. So I think I have enough variation that now I can go in and paint everything. And then when I slice it, it should keep it all just the same level. Okay, this will be six layers, so let's see how it turns out. This prints into the evening and it takes about 54 minutes and I don't have any errors or anything that I have to help it through. Overall, it turned out pretty good. Um, the silver drain looks pretty good. You can see it from a distance. It's not like it um, had issues with that. But on the top, it does look a little bit spotty, mainly on the white. On the bottom, it looks much better. It's very slick. It's so nice to not have that drain or anything popping up, just everything super smooth. But I may need to adjust my layer height a little bit, and I definitely would have it flipped over to have the slick side facing up. It's a little bit too thick, so I go back into Slicer and adjust the height of it. And then I also want to print a few of them at a time. I probably would print more, but it looks like I'm running a little bit low on my filament. So I just make the modification to print three at a time. I'm not sure why the align button doesn't really center things. It kind of kicks them towards the front. So I feel like I keep trying to move them more towards the center. This will take about 55 minutes for three of them that are half the height of the last one. So it is getting faster. And again, I don't have any errors or anything that I have to interfere with. It seems like now that I've got the filament loaded, it is keeping pretty, pretty good. Now let's see how they turned out. It seems like it's really sticking to the bed, so I'm hoping that maybe my uh, Z height worked a little bit better on this. I didn't change anything, but it does seem like it's a little tighter. The top, I don't like. It looks a little stringy. The bottom looks even better. Um, I feel like I see a couple spots, a couple holes in the white, but they're very minimal. I think that's something that I can make some adjustments and just tighten the Z height. And then in comparison, this is what I had before. You can see that the layers are just a little too obvious. And now this is gonna be nice and slick in comparison. And it's a little less bold on the black color, but that's okay. I think I'm much happier with this than having to be around for the layer change and then gluing the silver drains in later. So I like this a lot better. I am disappointed that I was not able to do the entire shower in a reasonable amount of time, but this is some improvement. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.